Hi, this is Shekhar Srinivasan, a Microsoft Certified Trainer and a Pluralsight Author. This is a part of the free video series on top 50 most frequently asked questions on ADO.net. Let us get started. What are the types of data set? When the question is about types of data set, we have two types of data set. Type data set, untyped data set. I also take interviews many a times when I ask the same question, what are the types of data set? I got a reply stating type data set and the other one is untyped data set. Felt very happy so I asked the next question, what is the difference between type data set and untyped data set? The reply gave me the loss for the whole day. The reply was whenever we type in and define a data set, it is type data set. And without typing anything, if we define a data set, then it is untyped data set. I couldn't control myself other than laughing out loud. So friends, please remember there is nothing like typing or untyping comes into picture here. So what exactly is typed and untyped data set? A strongly typed data set is a custom class and it consists of classes derived from data set, data table and data row. A typed class assumes all of the functionality of the dataset class and can be used with methods that take an instance of a dataset class as a parameter. It is bind with the database tables at the design time and you have all the schema information at design time in your code. It is stored in a .xsd file and do error checking regarding their schema at design time using the dot .xsd definitions. You can access the tables and columns with the actual names because it is added in dot .xsd file in your application. In case of a strongly typed data set, you are the one who tells what to do. You can specify exactly what you want no matter if it is not exactly what you have in the database. An untyped data set is an instance of a class system.data.dataset. It is binded with the tables at runtime and there no corresponding built-in schema. You are not aware of the schema of the data set at design time and there is no error checking facility at the design time as they are filled at the runtime when the code executes. Hope you are clear with this question. See you shortly with the next most frequently asked question in ADO.NET. If you are a Pluralsight subscriber, you can watch my course ADO.NET by example to understand ADO.NET in detail with various examples. Please check out the following URL https colon slash slash www.pluralsight.com slash courses slash ADO.NET by example. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. This encourages me to produce more and more free videos. Yours, Shaker.